Hey gamers, it's the Ultra Graphics guy here today. I have one question for you. Would you like your Quest 3 games to look like this? Or like that? I believe everyone's going to choose a second one just for the clear image. Well, today, I'm going to show you how to install my favorite app on the Quest 3. It's Quest Game Optimizer. Basically what it does, it can boost your resolution, your FPS, and it also does overclocking if you'd like. There's a bunch more you can do with that app. But let's start with the install here. Let's roll the intro. Step one. Okay, to start off, you just need to go log in into your Meta account on developers.meta.com. If you don't have a Meta account yet, Please create one, but just make sure you're using the same one that you use on your Quest 3. Okay, so when you're logged in, you'll just need to go through the verification. So you'll have two options here. To verify the account, you'll have to set up a two-factor authentication. Or the other options, just use your credit card. I use my credit card here on my side, so I can just press next. Okay, so step three, you just need to create an organization. So you can write anything in here. You can write your name, username, or if you have a business, you can write it in there. Doesn't matter. Should work if it's not used yet. After that, you just press I understand. Just check that off and press submit. Okay, so when everything is done here, you just open up your Meta Horizon app on your phone. You press on the headset icon and from there you'll see if you scroll down the headset settings and afterwards you just need to press on a developer mode press on that and just make sure it's turned on that's basically it step two we'll go on itch.io we want to get the apk for quest games optimizer the link will be below in the description so don't worry about that you'll find it right there i want you to create an account on this website because it will make your your life way easier and uh, you'll be able to find your download anytime you lose it or you're doing a format on your request, any like that. When the account is created, I want you to go and press on buy now. Now it's $9.99. You'll need to put out a bit of money out for this, but uh, you can also support, you can add another dollar or two and there's two different payment options. It's PayPal or pay with your credit card. Now, when that's downloaded, if you did create an account, you'll see the download icon right at the top of the page when you're on the Quest Games Optimizers page, or you'll receive an email and the download link will be through there. Now, when you press on the download link, just press on download. And just make sure the APK is set somewhere that you'll know, like your desktop or a download page. Step three. I want you to go on sidequestvr.com. The link will be below in the description also. I want you to go on the left side. You'll see Get SideQuest. Now there's two options, a SideQuest VR app or a desktop app. I want you to download the desktop app for Windows. Now when that's downloaded, just make sure you open it, open it up, install. And when it's installed here on our side, let's go to the next step. Step four. Okay, so now when you have the app installed, I want you to connect your Quest 3 directly through USB. You should see a message pop up in your Quest 3 that says allow USB debugging. Just press allow. And from there, you'll see the green icon pop up on the left side of the app. You'll see Oculus Quest 3. And from there, I want you to go on the right side of the software's page and you'll see install APK file from folder on computer. Find your APK file that we've downloaded earlier from the website. And from there, it should be automatically installed. And you'll see when you go in the app section, you'll see it will be installed right there. Step five. This step is only if the Oculus Quest did not connect. So if the icon on the top left did not turn green or you did not get the message for debugging on the Quest itself, you can skip this step here. If everything worked properly, go right away to step six. Um, if it did not, you'll need to follow the link I have right below in the description. It's for Oculus ADB drivers. It will bring you directly to the Meta website to download the drivers from there. 
when you have them downloaded, I want you to put it on the desktop right away or somewhere you know where it's going to be safe. I want you to extract it right away. And when it's fully extracted, I want you to open up the device manager. When the device manager is fully opened up, I want you to select your PC. It's a top tab. After that, go on action and press add legacy hardware. Now, when that opens up, you just want to press next. And on the next step, you want to check install the hardware that I manually selected from a list. So that's the advanced option. And the step afterwards, you just want to press next. And now what you want to press on is have disk. From there, you want to press on browse. And now what you want to do is go to the directory where you extracted that folder. So for me, it will be on the desktop. So when you get to that folder, you want to open up. Keep going until you see AMD64 i386. And you'll see right underneath a file called Android underscore win USB dot INF. I want you to open that up. Okay, so when you have it opened up, you'll see the driver list right there. Uh, if you do have these three, uh, most important is the Oculus ADB interface. You're all good. You can press on next. Now you just need to press next again to install the drivers. And you just need to wait a bit until they fully installed. And when they're installed, it's going to ask you to restart. Just restart your computer and now it should work. Your Oculus Quest should connect to the computer properly and you should get the message, uh, the debugging message, and you should be all set to go. Step six. Now you have the Quest Games Optimizer installed on your Quest. So you just need to open up your app menu and go in unknown sources. And from there, you'll see right on the top, usually it's on the top right here, You'll see Quest Games Optimizer, and I want you to open it up. When it's opened up, it's going to ask you to enter an email. You want to enter the email that you bought the APK with. And when you enter your email, you just press on Confirm. Now you have the full access to the app. But there's just one more step missing to get everything working properly. We just need to get the app connected to the internet. So it updates properly and gets the right information, and it auto-detects all the games properly and the settings. So now what you want to do is you can try retry. Sometimes it connects if you already had the app before. If not, you want to press on options. So when you have options opened up, you'll see solution one and two. Now today I'm going to show you through solution one. It's the easiest method in my opinion. For solution one, you want to press on open developer options. In developer options, you want to scroll down to debugging. And right below the third option will be wireless debugging. Press on that. In wireless debugging, you'll see if you scroll down, pair device with pairing code. You want to open that up and it will give you a code. And you want to enter that code in Quest Games Optimizer right on the right side. You'll see that option right there. And when it's entered, that's basically it. You have full access to the app. Now that you have the full access to the app, you can select a game. You can even use this as a launcher for your game. I'm going to show you an option here. I'm going to show you the settings of Arizona Sunshine 1 Remake. So I'm just going to press on the three little dots here at the top. And you'll see, you can, you can select the profiles right away or just press on Edit. And in edit, you can select all the settings you want. You can even, on the right side here, you get different profiles. Now, different games will have power saving, boost mode, HD, and HD+. And on the left side, you can set up your own profile. So you can up the res, the FPS, the CPU, GPU, and FFR. But with that, I would at least use the OVR toolkit. That's another APK you can install actually through SideQuest. That's to track basically uh, your FPS, CPU, GPU usage, and battery life in real time. So you can see what's going on when you're creating your own profiles. And yeah, that's it. That's how to install Quest Games Optimizer. Thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day.